can see here this is the final shape you can see here sorry uh, sir this file uh, lesson 3 yes no, this is lesson, lesson 5 okay thank you yeah. Okay, so first of all, uh, we will learn how we can work with the pen tool, how the shapes are created using the pen tool. Okay, then we will, after you learn how to work with the pen tool, then we will create the violin shape completely from the scratch. Okay, so we have a couple of files in this uh, folder. Uh, you can see the start one file. In this file, uh, we are going to learn how we can create some zigzag lines. As you can see here, there are some zigzag lines uh, shown in the background. So. We can take the pen tool. This is the pen tool. So pen tool is used to, for creating any custom shapes, whatever shapes you want to create yourself or uh, is some custom shapes you can do with the pen tool, like curve shapes or any other corner shapes or different shapes. So take the pen tool and to create zigzag line is very simple. As you can see, there are some uh, points given here. You just need to click on these points to uh, create the zigzag lines like this. So whenever you click on each point, it will uh, generate a complete once you click two points it will complete a line segment okay like this so this one uh, is zigzag lines and then you can see a work area is also there we you can try uh, it without the background also so you can just use the pen tool and you can try it without the background like this So then you can go to the uh, second file. In the second file, you can see also uh, another shape. So this is also a simple shape. You can use, uh, you can create it using the pen tool with the straight line segments. So you can start from here and then click on another endpoint, then again on another endpoint, then again on another endpoint, then click on this corner, and then again click on this corner, and then again click on this corner. So now we can see I created that shape using the pen tool. So we can try also at the bottom without the uh, background. So if you need a specific uh, measurement, you can uh, try also with that measurement or you can just try without the measurement also. Like this. We go to the uh, third file. In the third file, we are going to create a curved shape okay so how we can create curved shape so you can see there are two drawings a and b so in the a drawing you can see a curved shape is created here so we will try to create the uh, on top of that we will create a shape with the pen tool so take the pen tool and once you create a curved shape uh, you can simply first you click on a point to start the line and then click on the next in, on, click on the end point and drag so once you drag you can see it creates a curved uh, line but you can see that the curved line is not according to the background shape it is not a perfect round okay so sometimes in these cases you can do one thing once you start the uh, line you can just first you click and drag up so once you click and drag up what you can see is it will create a handle you can see two lines are going up and down so these are called handles so the handles will make the lines more smoother once you create handles it will these are called bezier handles it will create the lines more smoother now we can see once i click on the next point and drag now we can see we get the desired result according to the background shape so by creating the handles the bezier handles you will be able to control the curve of the shape okay so then we will go to the B drawing. In the B drawing, we will do the same thing, but we will create a repetitive curves, okay, in a reversed manner. So you take, can take the pen tool and you just click on the starting point, click and drag up like this to create the initial curve. And then you can click on the next point, click and drag down like this. Then again, click on the next point, drag down like this. Then we just click on each anchor points and drag to make the curves reversed like this okay so this is much easier to create because the curve is reversed already it is reversed so it is much easier to create like this then we will go to the next file in the next fifth file we can see uh, uh, 
two drawings also there A and B. So we will try to create these curves here. So take the pen tool from here. So here you can see, unlike in the last drawing we have seen, it is not reversed. It comes, the curves comes in the same direction. So we need to make some couple of changes once you work in this one. So the starting is similar. You can just click and drag to create a base here handle and then click on the next anchor point and drag to create the curve. And now you can see because always the next curve will uh, start reversed as you can see the curve will start reversed so here i want to start the next curve in the same direction so we need to create a new handle in the same direction you can see there is one base hand already there but we need to switch the bottom uh, handle which is coming down to the top side so that the our curve direction will start again from the top side so for that what you can do is just hold on alt on the keyboard and then click on this anchor point and drag up so once you do that, you can see the bottom uh, base here uh, handle is deleted and a new handle is created to the top side. So the result is now we can see that uh, a new curve shape starts to the top side. Now we can see the curve direction change to the top side. Okay, so you need to repeat the same thing every time. Now I just create the curves again. And now we will repeat the same thing. You hold on Alt on the keyboard, click on this point and drag up to create a new handle like this so again it switches the direction to the top side and do the same thing click and drag up like this and then again i will create a new handle up by deleting the handle down so you press alt on the keyboard and drag up and then again repeat the same thing like this and again click on the bottom point and drag up and then again i will click on this point and drag like this okay now we can see that uh, the curves are created okay in same direction now we go to the B drawing in the B drawing we will try to create the curves uh, and then you can see there are straight lines and then again it switches the direction to the bottom and then again straight line then again switches the direction so how we can create this one we will check so you will start with, uh, with the pen tool in the same way we can just click and drag up to create a basic handle if you want, sometimes if it is not coming straight, you can hold on shift also. Once you create the base here handles, if you hold on shift, it will create it straighter like this. And then again, you click on the next uh, anchor point and drag up so that the curves comes according to the background curve. And now we can see, uh, you can see the next line is a straight line. It is not a curved line. So we have to delete the handle which is coming down okay so once you delete we will not create a new one but we will delete the existing bottom handle so for that you can press alt on the keyboard and click on the anchor point so once you do that what happens is it deletes the bottom base handle and it makes the line straighter now we can see it will not make any curved lines now we can see once you delete the bottom handle it makes the next line straighter so just click on the next anchor point to create a straight segment now again you can see it is a curved line so whenever you need a curved line you create a base handle whenever you need a straight line you delete the base handle so now i need a base uh, handle i will create a base handle to the bottom side to create the curves so you hold on alt on the keyboard click on drag from this anchor point to create a new handle down and now again click on the next point and drag to create a arc shape okay now we can see again uh, we will click on this anchor point to delete the handle you can hold on alt and click on this point to delete the handle and again you can just click on the next point here and uh, we can click hold on alt on the keyboard click and drag up to create a new handle up to create a new curve now we can see the curve comes like this and then click on this point and drag to create the head to create the curve so that's all you can see now we can see the curves are coming straight lines are there in between then we reverse the line so whenever you want curve lines you need to uh, click and drag to create a base here handle to create the curves and if you need straight lines you need to delete the uh, base here handles 
so that is the concept uh, to work with the pen tool you go to the final uh, file you can see we are going to create a violin shape and uh, you can see once you open this the fifth file you can see here uh, we will create this violin shape in different parts we will create the body first of the violin and then we will create the handles using the lines and then we will create the neck also neck part also and then we have also a curved part inside the violin we will do also we will do this as separately and then we will uh, arrange it together to create the violin and finally we will apply the color 